Okay, on this short tutorial video, uh, this is Paul Hardingham from quit9to5.co.uk. I'm going to show you how to make a reflection, a graphic reflection. And uh, this is basically how you do it. I use a package called Paint Shop Pro, but I'm sure the same principles will work with lots of other graphics packages, uh, Photoshop, and, and so on and so forth. So I've started here first of all. I've got a text here, how to make a reflection. That's purely to illustrate this. What I want to do is use this tool here, which is a selection tool. And you'll see also I've set a feather of 20. What a feather means is that it will expand where I select. So as I drag and uh, select the area here, so you can see that box. That's where it's going to select. And it's going to expand from there by 20 pixels. And it's going to feather. So now it's going to fade out from a full collection uh, through to nothing. And so there you end up with this new area here which shows where it's actually collecting uh, the graphic and it's going to copy that but it fades away. So let's now go into edit, copy. That's copied this selection, this, this central selection. I now need to select none, get rid of that selection and I want to paste that selection which I've just made. So I paste it as a new layer a new layer on top of this existing one and here we go we've got this layer here and you can see how it fades out the feather effect as it fades out into the distance now all we need to do is then flip that image so we go into here uh, image flip turn it upside down and now we need to line it up underneath the text there so I use my selection tool here grab that move it up underneath just get it lined up nice and straight we're there, and there we have a reflection. But to make it more uh, more of a reflection, I would then select that layer and reduce the intensity of it. So over on this section here, I can select the opacity, and I can reduce that down. And usually for reflections, I look around about 30%. And there we've got our reflection. We reduce all those layers, merge all the layers to a flat layer, and there is our reflection graphic. We can reduce that down. We just want that reflection. And there it is. We can then put that on a website or on some graphics, however you want to use it. And that's how you make a reflection. I hope that's been useful. If you'd like some more tips, then go to my channel, youtube.com forward stroke learn as you watch. And also, if you're interested in starting your own business, I've got some other tutorials to how to start a business online. Uh, visit quit925.co.uk and subscribe there. Thanks for watching.